At first, there were only the Aether and the Keepers. Among them were two beings who would later be known by many names. One would be known as Dr. Monty, the other as the Shadow Man. September 3rd, 5 AD. Knowing the planet has a gateway to Agartha, the Apothecons send meteors of Element 115 to Earth. They believe humanity will one day use Element 115 to wage war amongst themselves, opening a rift that will allow the Apothecons to escape the Dark Aether. January 15th, 1292. The Great War between Humanity and the Apothecons begins. April 14th, 1294. Sir Pablo Marines is saved from the clutches of a Margua by four unknown heroes. They would later become known as Primus. Later on Gorod Krovi, ciphers read, My name is Pablo, or at least, I think it is, or was, I don't know anymore. I have been locked away, held prisoner in this cell, for many months by German scientists. They keep experimenting on me, pumping me full of some blue liquid. I think it is reasonable for the repeated visions I have been having, which I swear look and feel real. In this vision, my name is Pablo Marines, and I am a knight coming back from the Crusades. I fight in a great battle against strange demon-like creatures who are trying to devour the Earth. At one point, it appears I am doomed, trapped in the tentacles of a great three-headed beast when suddenly, four knights decimate it with magical elemental staffs, saving me from certain death. There are otherworldly creatures that fight on our side against the demons. The creepy thing is that the sigils on their tunics resemble the one I noticed on stones here at the castle as I was being brought to my cell. I just hope I can eventually find a way to escape this. The next cipher on Gorod Krovi comes directly from the Wolf King himself. While I consider myself to be a brave king in the battle, I will tell you my son that those four were the bravest warriors I have ever seen. I had the privilege to fight alongside them in the great battle many years ago where we defeated the creatures from beyond and the dead eaters. They disappeared after we claimed victory, never to be heard from again. The last thing they told me was to build my castle here in this very location before they disappeared. On December 31st, 1292, together with the Keepers, Primus defeats the Apothecans, bringing the Great War to an end. Now before they seemingly disappear from history, on January 1st, 1300, Primus instructs the Wolf King who they had fought the Great War alongside, and we know this from ciphers on Gorod Krovi, Primus instructs the Wolf King to begin building construction of the Der Isendrat Castle. So it's clear that Primus instructs the Wolf King to build the Der Isendrat castle, and this castle later becomes the Wolf King's home, so the king had a lot of servants. And on September 19th, 1318, honoring the Wolf King's dying request, his loyal servant, Arthur, scatters and buries his bones in the grounds of Der Isendrak, accompanied by the Wolf King. As we can clearly see in a portrait hanging on the wall of the Der Isendrak castle, we have Arthur, the character from Buried, crying, sulking, because the Wolf King is dying. The Wolf King has arrows in his chest, and upon his dying request, the Wolf King instructs Arthur to bury his bones in the grounds of Der Isendrak, accompanied by the Wolf King, and while we go about upgrading the Wolf Bow in Der Isendrak, this is exactly what's occurring, accompanied by the King Wolf. The King Wolf is digging up the bones of the Wolf King across the entire Der Eisen Drock grounds. This is exactly what had happened so many years before, so many centuries before, in 1318. So, all of a sudden, a day later, on September 20th, 1318, Temporal Rifts teleport Arthur to Resolution 1295 in 2025 in Angola, Africa. 
And remember, centuries ago, in 5 AD, the Apothicons sent meteors of Element 115 to Earth, believing that humanity would one day use Element 115 to wage war amongst themselves, essentially opening a rift that would allow Apothicons to escape the Dark Aether. Centuries later, on June 30th, 1908, a meteor containing element 115 crashes near the stony Tunguska River. So, just as the Apothicons had once predicted, humans began to excavate and use Element 115 and begin to wage war against one another. This has essentially opened a rift in the space-time continuum, allowing the Apothicons to escape from the Dark Aether. Because of this, multiple temporal rifts have occurred across the space-time continuum. Really, they're the same temporal rifts that occurred on September 20th, 1380, causing Arthur to get teleported to Resolution at 1295 in the year 2025 in Angola. And I know that all of this information may be a little bit complex, but this is essentially the core foundation of the origins of our zombie storyline. So if you guys happen to learn anything new in today's video, please be sure to slap that like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting a ton more videos regarding the upcoming Zombies Chronicles DLC. If you guys didn't learn anything new in today's video, congratulations. You guys are essentially experts on the zombie storyline. But as I said, if you did learn anything new, drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you're new because I'm going to be posting a ton of brand new content regarding DLC 5 for Black Ops 3, including tutorials if there are any new easter eggs in these remastered maps, alongside some brand new storyline explanatory videos. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. With that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.